Hello guys. What we're going to learn about today or tonight is how to get free internet off of the Boost phones. This is an i425 and this is the cables I'm using. It's a single cable, USB. I don't know the name of the small end. It came off of another device. Well, simply I'll be plugging that in to the side of the phone. And this will be going into the USB. But before then, we need to run some software. Now me, actually want to get the drivers for this. Other than that, no software required, believe it or not, for the free internet. Okay, guys, one thing to keep in mind before we do anything, I need you guys to go and download this, the drivers for your phone here. Keep in mind, what you're normally going to be buying here is a data cable for your Motorola phone, you know, for the carrier boost or Nextel. Also, if you have one around the house that looks like it, it's going to do the same thing. So get that cable get the drivers and get ready to watch the video and I will show you how to get free internet and by the way so you guys know I've been doing this for four years already and I put on thousands of hours on my phone and I've had only two three dollars on the phone and I still continue to do that and here we go alright what's next guys you can open up control panel and you're gonna go over internet options over to connections a new connection wizard and you're gonna find the modem in here you're gonna click on that and click the other one in my case you're gonna hit next and it's gonna ask for phone number I'm gonna get this right or wrong the first time either way I'll correct it it's s equals two you hit next just name it whatever I'm gonna keep a dial up connection and hit finish change nothing here yet hit OK and always dial my default connection hit OK and go over and open up your browser in this case I am going to use Firefox and let's see if this works I'm sorry guys, yes it did. Now I you pick no username, you pick no password, a dialog box will come up, then you say save the username for password for all users, hit anyone that uses computer, hit dial, open S equals two. Everything's verified because there's no username to get onto the network now. It's registering it on the on the network. Authenticated and look what we got here speed at 38.4. Hey listen guys, it's not fast, but it is free. And it was literally as simple as I just made it out to be. And here we are, on the internet. Let's go to Yahoo. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's free as I said. It's a little bit slower than dial-up. That's all you have to do. You go in, you select S2. You're going to have to do other configurations yourself, which you be able to figure out. Because it's going to, you know, I actually already showed you what modem to pick. It was literally that simple. I did this whole video in about 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Now I'm going to watch it and see if anything else I need to add, because this seemed pretty quick. Keep in mind, guys, it may not be easy for everybody the way it just happened for me, so I'm going to add a few things that have happened to me in my past experience. I mean, you may have to go into control panel under phone and modems and look for the modem which will have the name of IDN USB modem and in this case here it was in COMP4 now I highly recommend that you don't go to the minimal which is 19.2 I would go up to 38.4 for the max port speed and also go do the same thing also aside internet options and make sure the speed is also 38.4 then hit OK that's not necessarily something that you guys are going to do but it's good to know that you may be able to have to do it. Keep the dialing rules, leave them alone. It doesn't use the same rules, doesn't use an area code, it goes on to the data channel. Which the significance of S equals two, I have no idea, but that's how it works. Now there was other software that we had to use before, it's called Dashboard and all that crap. And quite honestly it bogged the computer down. So what I learned on my own is just to think for myself and I says, well screw it, let's get rid of all the software, let's do it directly, internet options. 
hypothetically it should work and it was literally that easy that's why the, the video went so simple because it really is now if you have any problems uh, or any questions feel more than free to email me and I'll do my best to help you guys and I hope this helped and you take care and have a good one thanks